voice test. Now, we're back in medieval dynasty. We were supposed to change the stamina value with an external trainer in C sharp. And we have gotten the pointer for the address. So the base module plus the base address. Then we have four offsets, eight, eight. And I've gotten some new ones because I had to redo the pointer scan and so on because my save file was corrupt or whatever. It disappeared. So I got, have gotten a new pointer which has 920 and 520 as the last two offsets. Now, we can take a look at the end product. So let's zoom out a bit. So it might look like a lot of code, but I promise you it isn't. It's just some imports. And from here, we just repeat what we have learned from this. So this application, we can start it and take a look. It displays, so it displays our stamina, which should be at 55. You can see a bit of green there. And it shows the journey that we take through the process memory. So here is the module address, I think, probably. And here's the address that it points to when you add the main and the base address and then the offset, 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 and uh, not not the last one, but the float value. So let's take a look in game. Look closely at the green value. It was at the middle of the cap meter and now I have arranged so it will remove the stamina when I click on the mouse 5 button or X button 2. So if we go back in game and I click my X button 2, he loses the stamina. You can see the green bar just disappearing each time I click. Here a closer click. There you go. And you can, of course, just reverse this to get unlimited stamina, for example. Or if you had money, gold, perhaps, you could just get the mon gold address and change it by this method. So let's get right into this. First step will be to import some functions. This will be get async key state for hotkeys. For modifying the process, we will use read slash write process memory from memoryapi.h. Links for all of the imports will be in the description. Don't worry about the 32s in our imports. Our application will work just fine. We will need the game's handle to use the read and write functions. To get this, we use process.getProcesses by name. You can find the process string in Sheet Engine when you attach it to the game. We will also store the main module's base address since that's where the pointers start. And last but not least, a buffer which stores 8 bytes. This will be the buffer to store the addresses we end up at. Since we're dealing with a multi-level pointer, we have to read each individual offset. You cannot just add them to the, together at once. In the same time, we use console.writeLine to print out what each address and offsets point to. Using the format X displays it in hexadecimals.
when we only have one offset left, reading it will return the stamina value, which we store in a new separate stamina variable. Now we can test the application, but remember to use the 64-bit build option in the project. As you can see, we print out the pointer path and at the bottom our stamina value. Also, when we get a different stamina value in game, it displays here as well. Now let's create a hotkey to set our character's stamina to zero. This is where get async key state comes into play. We check if our desired key is pressed and if so, we use write process memory. All right, so let's see what we get in then. We start our application. It displays all of this cool stuff. Let's compare it to our pointer in Cheat Engine. So here we have the main module plus the base address. So that's the main module up here. And plus the base address, it should be this. So you can see at the end 80, at the beginning 1F. So it's the same. If we take a look at the next one, so this is plus eight, it shows this continuation C0 at the end, C0. If we do the next one, plus eight again, 40 at the end, 40 at the end. If we do the next one, 1F and F0 at the end, 1F and F0 at the end. So we're doing the same exact thing and we don't show this one because it's not really necessary we it's the last offset and we just have to read that to get our stamina value so we've gotten our stamina value this is what it should point if displayed it but whatever we've gotten the stamina value and now we can uh, close that down and use our application. So we had the hotkey, which was mouse button five or X button two. And when we click it in game, it sets our stamina to zero. So this opens a whole new world of different trainers, different application that can do whatever you want it to, but you just have to figure out the pointers or whatever, the mapping behind the game. And when you have that, you can just read each offset and get to your values. Now, I think I'm pretty much done here. I will see you guys in the next tutorial. Leave a comment of what you want me to cover next. I will probably uh, make the CSGO uh, head location or bone location video next. But please give me more suggestions. It's always fun to hear what you want me to do. I'll see you guys in the next video.